Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Al's Bootery and Repair Shop in Billings, Montana. This is one of my favorite stores. I've made several videos here before and I am back today. We are checking out a Challenger boot from Boule. I've been wanting to see what the Challenger line is like for a while now and today we get a quick impression of this Boule model number 7762. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. I've had a lot of questions from you guys about the Challenger line from Boule. This isn't their usual line. This is sort of their lower tier boot that uh, is more of a budget option. They do cut some corners and I'm seeing some of those corners cut just by looking at this uh, right off the bat. But let's dive a little bit deeper into the features of this boot and get straight into the rundown. This Boulet model number 7762 features a shrunken shoulder bull hide on the vamp and the counter. And I really like shrunken shoulder for its durability and how soft it can be. Uh, shrunken shoulder is some of the best leather that you can use for cowboy boots in my opinion. It also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt and a really pretty almost pink or black cherry 10 inch shaft here. This is kind of like a roper boot and it does have pull holes instead of pull tabs. For a heel, we got about a one and three eighths inch Stockman heel. This looks like compressed leather, uh, probably a bonded leather of some sort. This outsole is another cost savings that is probably the biggest from Boulet in their Challenger line. It feels like a compressed material of some sort, but this isn't a true leather outsole that you'll find in the next tier up from Boulet, which is my favorite kind of Boulet. Uh, I had the 7031, I still do. I bought it 15 years ago. It's been resold six times. Boulet is my absolute favorite, but I've never tried their budget line, the Challenger, and uh, it is showing its budget here in the outsole. Um, I'm not a super big fan of how this looks here. On the inside, we have a leather lining all the way through, which is a lower quality pigskin lining. It also feels like it has a cloth lined foot, which is another cost savings there. Then as an insole, it's a non-removable sort of leather and foam but it's not as soft or as high quality of a leather that I feel like is in the other boulets that uh, are that next tier that are my favorite kind. So there's a lot about this boot that are definitely cut in some corners, but this is supposed to be their line that is supposed to compete with Ariat, Justin, some of the boots that have that lower price tag. They want to compete in that area and the Challenger is the way they do it. It is made in Canada and it's coming in at pretty much around $200 exactly. Here at Al's Bootery, it's $205.95. Now let's try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on the Boule Challenger boot right now and uh, it's a little different than the normal Boule feel. I could understand why you might be turned off from Boule if all you ever tried was a Challenger boot. I know a lot of you guys out there have expressed disinterest in Boule in the Facebook group and that might be because you tried a Challenger in the first time you tried a Boule. The first thing that I'm noticing is the counter. It feels so much different than some of the other Boulets that are not in the Challenger line it feels like a composite counter and it hugs the heel a little bit more than what I like. It's not the best sort of fit and it kind of feels like it might leave some blisters while breaking this boot in, at least on my foot. Your foot might be different, so it's, uh, it's just not the most comfortable feel. Like it's hugging the heel too much. Now you do want some support in there and you want some heel slip and I'm getting that heel slip 
but it's also just a little bit too snug in the heel for me. The insole is really nothing that special. It doesn't feel like it's anything to write home about. Um, and the outsole does feel a little weird, a little different, but I can't really express exactly how I feel about it in this quick impression um, just because I don't have enough time with it but that again is reflected in the price point of this boot usually boulets are around $250 to $300 if not a little bit more uh, because they are made in Canada this is around $200 so they do cut uh, some corners to bring that price down to make the boot a little bit more affordable. Uh, making boots in Canada is a little bit more expensive than what it is to make boots in Mexico. So this is a difficult boot to compete on that level with uh, even boots that are made in China. So this is kind of a, a reach for a boulet in my opinion um, to try to make a boot to compete on that level. I feel like they are fine where they're at with their regular line. I really like that regular line. This one though is not my speed, to be honest. Still, I love the look. Here's the POV. That shrunken shoulder was definitely a good choice from Boulet. I love shrunken shoulder. It's really durable. It breaks in incredibly. And uh, it is just a great leather all the way around. I understand why some of you might be a little bit turned off from Boulet if all you ever tried was the Challenger boot. The outsole is definitely a lower quality than what you usually get. I love the outsoles and the way that they tan the outsole leather on the regular Boulets. It is incredible. It's a lot longer lasting. I got my Boulets resold six times, uh, but that first time took a while and it's also constructed for it to be resold six times. I can't say the same for this. Is it worth more buying a $250 boot, having it last 15 years with six resoles, or buying a $200 boulet boot and having it last three, maybe? So that's why I think it's better to save money if you can and buy a higher quality boot because that higher quality boot will end up being cheaper in the long run. There's a lot that I'm not a fan of with this Boulet and, I, and Boulet is my favorite brand. Um, I don't like the pigskin lining. I don't like the cloth line foot. I'm not a huge fan of this insole and I definitely don't like the outsole. But that said, it has a beautiful red top and I love the fact that they made this a shrunken shoulder. This leather is incredible. Bullhide, the shrunken shoulder is great, guys. It is some of the best leather that you can get in a cowboy boot. Let me know what you guys think of the Boulet Challenger model number 7762 down in the comments. And don't forget that if you're ever passing through Billings, Montana, you gotta stop here at Al's Bootery and Repair Shop. It is an incredible place with lots of boots, both upstairs and downstairs, lots of brands. If you are interested in buying this or any other boot that you see on their Instagram or in the background here, they got Tony Llamas, Nakonas, or even just wanna to call to see what they have in your size, here is the number. They will ship to you. They ship all across the United States. If you guys like this content, please consider subscribing. It goes a long way to help me continue to bring awesome boot content to you from incredible boot stores like Al's Bootery and Repair Shop. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Peace. These aren't the old bullies. It just don't feel the same. But I still like bullies. At least the ones without the challenger name. Yeah. In fact, why don't you check out this one up here about a boule tall top that was pretty sweet. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yes. Peace. Have a good one.